<clears throat> Hello, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to run the Transfer Learning Toolkit on a GPU set up in the cloud. And uh, you're going to be surprised just how easy and very inexpensive it is. So the, we're going to use paper space. That's the, the one. Uh, there's plenty of them out there, but I like that one because it has a lot of the stuff set up for NVIDIA already. So you go to my website, AITriad.com, and you go down here, don't have a GPU for training, and it'll take you to the, the where you sign up. So you'll sign up here, you got to go through all the signups, and once you get on, it'll look something like this. So you'll like here, and this is where you do your setup. Now, what I chose, I chose go to a core. And I've already got a machine running, but I'll go ahead and how to set up machine. So what you do is you'll come to this, create a machine. And uh, so you want to pick, I'm the, on the West Coast, so I pick that. And then you want the public templates. You want the machine learning in a box. And I'll show you why. This is what it comes with. It already has the NVIDIA driver in it, CUDA, CUDA DNN, TensorFlow, NVIDIA Docker's in there, Docker, Jupyter Notebooks, Python. It's already all in there. So, I mean, we're not going to have to do, we're going to do very little setup to get going. So, so we choose that one. And then here, here's the GPUs that can, you can choose from. Now, when you first come across here, these are all going to have this lock symbol on here. And what it is, is you got to click on the one you want, and then a, a little pop-up pops up, and they're going to ask you, what do you want to use it for? And the only reason I think they do that is they don't have people using it for, like, uh, crypto mining and that kind of thing. They want you to use it for, like, machine learning. So you just type a note in there, I want to do some machine learning, uh, learning from NVIDIA or anything like that. It takes about a day for them to unlock it for you. Once you un uh, they unlock it, then you're ready to pick one of these. Now, I picked this one. It's just the, the P400. This is the Quadro machines, Quadro P4000. It's like 51 cents for every half hour. And then, uh, and here's the other ones you can choose from. Now, here's the thing. Um, you know, the more powerful your, your machine, like here's the 400, the 4000, excuse me. And right here, it's got 8 gigabyte of RAM. The P5000 has 16 gigabyte of RAM. The Quadro has... P6 has 24 gigabyte of RAM and so forth. So basically, the more RAM you have, the fast, faster your model can uh, 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 do its training. So it's just kind of a pay, uh, kind of a trade-off here. If you want to really fast, fat, your model train really fast, you can pick one of these. If you really don't care, you know. And what I'm gonna do is at the end of this, I'm gonna show you the cost of what it costs to, to train one of the models. So this is the one I picked right here. So I got machine learning in the box, the P4000. And then I picked um, 250 gigabytes as my storage. That's $10 a month. And then uh, I want to start immediately. And then you pick this one day. And you, what you want to do is you want to do this. So, um, you know, in case you forget it, and it, it'll shut itself down after one day for no use. And that's good because you won't have to pay for its stuff. It'll automatically shut down. Because this runs by the hour. You're charged by the hour. And then you get a snapshot. This kind of takes a snapshot of the machine in case everything screws up. And then you want a public IP. So once you get that all done, uh, you know, you're pretty much, the machine is set up. And then, uh, so, and there's a, you can do here, you can have teams. I have my team is the AI triad, and this is all your billing and usage and stuff like that. So let me uh, let me go back to my machine. So here's my machine, and it's already running. So we'll click on it. See, and you can see where, where it's running. And over here on the uh, over here, you guys your kind of controls. You can go back to the console. Um, you can go full screen. You can uh, restart the machine. You can shut down the machine. You always make sure when you leave to shut down your machine when you're done for the day because then you won't be charged. So let's just go full screen here. And uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to go in on the transfer learning toolkit. Like I say, it's already got all the things we need in here. So let's just go to the quick start guide for the transfer learning toolkit. 
And this is what we need to get the Transfer Learning Toolkit to run. We need all this Docker CE, NVIDIA Docker. We need a, a county key, the key account. We need a GPU driver that's 455 and above. So anyway, so you know, so we can get, get might as well just get started. So we'll go to, uh, this is the TLT Transfer Learning Toolkit webpage. You know, this is what it's all about. And then, uh, you know, I'm logged in already. So what we'll do is we'll do the setup. Setup is the same as before. Uh, we're going to do uh, the Linux. We'll copy this. Run it. Copy this. Run it. And then copy this. And then run it. And then we're done. We're done here. We I'm not gonna do these two other sections because we'll do it uh We'll do these at the other side. Then we go to here, get our API key, generate a key. And this is what we're going to use. So let's generate our key. Confirm. So we've got our key. So let's go ahead and copy this. Set it aside for later. Like I say, this is all running on the cloud right now. And then let's go ahead and start setting everything. NGC set. Once the key, once another format, which is ASCII. Okay, now we're going to set the Docker, Docker login. Now, this is the only one uh, you're going to have to do, maybe because it's on the web. Or it's on the GP uh, on the, the cloud. I notice you have to run sudo on a lot of this stuff to get it to work. The password. Okay, then we're in. And then now we just need to go back to, um, this is where we're going to get the sample workflows right here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, you can run these or you can run them from inside uh, the Jupyter Notebook, whatever you like. And so let's just go ahead and get this, copy this. Oh, no, you know what we're going to do first? We're going to download our Jupyter Notebooks. That's what we're going to do. So we just downloaded uh, this. Uh, let me uh, do that again because Move that's trash. Move that one to trash. And this is the one I've had earlier. So let's try it again so we get a super fresh one.
and then see so we've got that this is our samples so once we're here we're, we're ready to go we can run our Jupyter notebook so we can go back to here run our Jupyter notebook there, there we go see and we're in we're, we've run in our docker our uh, our Jupyter, our TLT Jupyter notebooks and we're ready to go so we go to here we're gonna run uh, I'm gonna run detect net I'm gonna show you how to run detect net what I did is I've already ran it so I'm just gonna show you how it kind of starts and some things to look at and then I'm gonna show you a finished example I'm gonna show you how long it took and the cost of it so we're gonna go to detect net uh, start the Jupyter notebook so you know it comes like it's already set up to go like this so we need to put our path in here this is to the, the detect net copy and I notice that this needs uh, these around to get it to work So now we've set our paths, and then we mount everything. Everything's mounted, and I've already run these, but we can run them again. Now you can set this all up in a virtual environment, but you know, I this machine's just dedicated to this, so I'm I'm just running it in not in a virtual environment. I'm running it in the machine. So this is all done. And then here's another thing too. This is the only kind of thing you gotta look out for. Is uh, you gotta have some. A lot of these places they have prerequisites to put in there. Well, this one doesn't have it. But what happens is some of the other notebooks they they run this to requirements pip. And. Uh, what I've done, had to do is I know it didn't like this so I had to actually put in replace it with this right here I've actually had to replace it with this to get it to run properly but that's the only thing and then other than that, I mean, you just start running this like you normally do, okay? So basically, I'm going to show you one that I've already got done, so you can see what it looks like, and then I'll show you, like, how long it took. So let's go back to here, here. So this is one I've already done. So as you can see, it's just like running the rest of them. The only thing you might have to worry about is I know a lot of the places here, they generally don't put sudo in uh, any of these cells, but on some of them you had to. So I'll show you where. See right here. To run this I had to put sudo here generally this doesn't come with sudo in front but I had to put it there to get this to run so we ran this made the TF records download the pre-trained models and then we looked at our specs file and then we ran our, our training like here I had to put sudo here also to get this to function Same thing with here, sudo had to put that there. Same thing there. Then we repruned it and then we retrained it. Here's the spec file for retraining. And uh, as you see, I had to put sudo there. We evaluate, had to evaluate the train model. 
and then we had some look at what our 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 finished product was. As you can see it 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 did a very good job finding everything. And then you can go ahead and export your model. And here's another thing too is you're going to have to set yourself up a, a, a Google Drive because that's how you're going to be able to get things in and out of this machine. If you want pictures or your own training data set, you got to get it to Google Drive and then out of Google Drive into this uh, into the uh, uh, cloud GPU and kind of back and forth. Once you're done, you want to transfer it to your Jetson. Same thing, you drive, do it back the other way. Let's see. Now that being said, this training took 24 hours to do. Okay. So in 24 hours, that's what I'm talking about when you set your when you choose your machine. I have a GTX 1080 Ti which has 11 gigabytes of RAM, and I can run this whole setup in 12 hours. Well, since the Quattro P4000 only has 8 gigabytes of RAM, it took 24 hours. So that's what I I'm talking about when you choose your um, the the GPU you want you want to run. And like here, this is the, the cost. So it's $10 a month for the storage. Let's see. And then here's my utilization. I ran this over the weekend. So so from 10, 23, let's see. From uh, 10, 27 to 10, 28. Um, this is how much I used it. It's uh, 51 cents uh, an hour. So I only used eleven dollars and forty-five cents for my total for the month. So far is is twenty-one dollars and forty-five cents, and that's all I needed to spend to 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 do that model. Now, if you want to do it faster, you could purchase the 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 GPUs with more memory, but you know this would kind of pay off. They cost a little bit more to use, but that's about it. So now it's another thing too. It's like as long as you shut your machine down. Uh, when you leave, you know that's all the the that's all the the payment or the amount that you're incurred to pay. So it's actually you, you saw how easy it was to set up. And then uh, let's go back to my console. You saw how easy it was to set up. And then, uh, like I say, it's it works once you get it set up and running. It's just basically like a normal Jupyter notebook. So, well, I hope that helps everybody. And uh, I always just say, remember, when you're done with this, shut your machine down, and you won't get charged anymore. So, um, good luck with that, and I hope this helps everybody out. Thanks. Bye.